hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time so today i have a bit of uh, sad news to report on um i just wanted to briefly talk about this topic because i think it's very important but especially to young women um who may be following me who are under the age of 21 um who are teenagers in high school i just wanted to say what i'm gonna say briefly so that this can be something that you can think about for later situations that you may find yourself in. Hopefully my words will stick with you. It'll come up when you're in a situation. So this is what happened. Desmond Hamilton was a 34 year old father and he was shot by his 14 year old daughter's boyfriend who was 17. Um, unfortunately, this happened because Desmond Hamilton was trying to keep the 17 year old Nicholas Mc McQuitter, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He was trying to keep him away from his daughter. It was a typical situation where they wanted to see each other and the father did not. Unfortunately, this turned deadly. So take a look at this clip and I will come back with my commentary. A teenager in the hospital this evening awaiting a murder charge after a shootout at this home. Good evening. Police say the boy snuck into his girlfriend's home, got caught, and then shot and killed her father. The teen was injured in an exchange of gunfire. Best Casterly live in the newsroom with new details tonight. The girl's father had tried to keep them apart many times before, but police say the teen murder suspect wouldn't stay away. Forbidden young love taking a deadly and criminal turn in Zachary. The daughter had, uh, had a boyfriend over, and the father came home and uh, there was an altercation. A double shooting in this quiet neighborhood. Monday, police revealing new information. 17-year-old Nicholas McWhorter going to see his girlfriend. The uh, suspect had uh, got a ladder, got into the second uh, story window to see the uh, homeowner, uh, Desmond Hamilton's 14-year-old uh, daughter. Something that was forbidden by the 14-year-old's father, Desmond Hamilton. Other instances I'm learning that when they lived uh, at a prior place, an apartment complex, he used the ladder to get in there. So this has been a going on, ongoing issue uh, and that, uh, you know, they was hoping to stop it, but uh, it continued. When Hamilton realized what was happening, he took action. Uh, Desmond brought him downstairs and began talking to him. An argument ensued. Uh, they began getting on to the 14-year-old. As they were getting on the 14-year-old, shots were fired. Police don't know who fired first yet, but at the end, Hamilton was dead. McWhorter in the hospital. The victim was more than just a protective father. He was a valuable asset to his community. This partly constructed building was going to be Hamilton's gift to Zachary, a snowball stand at the heart of the avenues where he grew up. Family and friends say he was trying to do what was best for the future of his family, much like that fateful day. McCorder will be booked with second degree murder when he's released from the hospital. Live in the newsroom, Best Casserole, WBRZ News 2. Thank you, Beth. So unfortunately, this is one of those situations that we hear about oftentimes where the father is trying to protect his daughter from dating a guy that he does not want his daughter around, whether it's because he thinks the guy is bad news or because he thinks his daughter is too young to be dating to begin with. This was very unfortunate because this dad was taken out by this teenage boy who felt like he probably had to, you know, defend whatever he thought he was defending that was worth it. To any of the young ladies who are watching this video right now, if you are in high school and you have a, you know, you have a, you have a boyfriend and you think your relationship is serious, you think that this relationship is your whole world because of your youth, you're not able to understand that this relationship that you have is really, <laughs> it's really not going to be the defining relationship of your lifetime. I just wanted to tell you what my mom told me when I was a young girl. My mom said to me, she says, hey, I know that you are, you know, getting to a certain age where you're thinking about sex and you're a pretty girl and boys are going to be coming at you. They're going to be wanting you. They're going to be desiring you. And you may want to try it. You may want to just see how it feels because you may feel like you really love someone, right? This is what she told me. She said, you don't have to listen to me because you will figure it out on your own. I just want to let you know that it's best that you wait till you're older to have sex. And the reasons that she gave me are the following. <laughs> she said to me, she said, most of these boys are broke. They don't have any jobs. 
They don't have any money. And if you were to get pregnant, they would not be able to take care of you or the child. Then she said, a lot of these boys have poor hygiene and they don't know what they're doing, right? So those were the reasons that she gave me. And then she said, if I wanted to become sexually active or when I decide to rather, I needed to let her know so she could give me some condoms as well as put me on birth control. That was a very real conversation that my Christian mom had with me, right? Okay, so I kept that in the back of my mind. I know my mom says what she says, but I, you know, whatever mom, like, okay. As time went on, I started to see what my mom was saying. So I started to pay attention. And I noticed that a lot of these guys turned out to be exactly what my mom said. So when I was in 11th grade, I was allowed to go out of the school to get lunch. So I noticed that whenever me and my friends left school to get our lunch, we would, you know, have money to get our own food. A lot of times the guys did not have money to get their own food. And a lot of them, you know, from talking to them, all they did was spend their time at the skate park or spend their time outside, you know, hanging out with their friends. So they didn't have money and didn't have a job. So that's one thing. Okay. Next on the list. I also realized <laughs> that a lot of times when, you know, you're standing at your locker, the boys are trying to come up to you and hug you and, you know, you know, do what, do what they do what they used to do. I noticed their fingernails were dirty. They had acne all over their faces. Sometimes they smelled. So that was the poor hygiene my mom was talking about. Lastly, I noticed that whenever we would have like school dances or like, <laughs> I'm a 90s kid, so I grew up in the 90s. So we had this thing called dollar parties. And I noticed at the dollar parties, a lot of them were stiff. When I would try to dance with them, they were stiff and didn't, you know, have any like rhythm or any. So that was what she was talking about when she said, they don't know what they're doing. So I quickly began to realize that everything my mom was saying to me about these teenage boys were correct. They were broke, had dirty pee pees and didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> so I, you know, did not lose my virginity until I was 19 to my boyfriend. Um, he was older, he had a job, he had a car, and he knew what he was doing. And I am definitely glad that I waited um, because it actually turned out to be an enjoyable experience for me. But I'm pretty sure that if I would have allowed myself to be seduced by the ideas of teenage love, I could have very easily found myself in a situation where I chose to sleep with someone and possibly gotten pregnant or worse and done something to alter the course of my life that, you know, may not have been for the better. And so that brings me back to this unfortunate situation. You have a loving father who apparently was a pillar in the community, was, you know, doing things positive for his community and for his family. It's just, you know, it's just so sad because this was a situation where the dad was abusing his daughter or harming his daughter or like sexually assaulting her. And so she told her boyfriend and then he just came in in a rage and tried to basically hurt the person who was hurting his girlfriend. No, this was simply about the fact that he felt that his love with this 14 year old was valid. And he didn't understand <laughs> that their love wasn't love. And he probably thought he was doing something to like I don't know, defend his, his, his girlfriend. I don't know. It's just, it's just very sad because there's so much here that shows that he, he didn't really understand what he was doing. He, he didn't really understand um, how he would really ruin his life over something that was not that important. And now the teenage girl has to live with the fact that she was complicit in the murder of her father. And I, I just wanted to say to anyone watching this video again who is younger and in and, and high school is that you really have to understand that your world right now will expand far beyond what you may even realize as possible and you have to be very careful with the things that you decide to do because you absolutely could alter the course of your life in a negative way forever you cannot look at your friends even or any relationships that you may currently have as permanent because they're not and that everything that you're experiencing is temporary whether it's good or bad it's temporary so that's all i have to say 
just shine light on the fact that a lot of times when you're in high school, you get caught up and you think that this is going to be your life and you make permanent decisions based off of things that are absolutely temporary. So please comment below if you're feeling what I'm saying or if you would just like to sound off in the comment section, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Um, and as well as make sure your notifications are turned on so that you don't miss any of my content. But if you have your notifications turned on, you won't miss anything that I post. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.